We really want it to be down below 10. This is quite high, caused by the uh, smoke in the air. Hello, I'm going to tell you how to make an air quality monitor. Something that's really needed here. I'm in California and the skies are just filled with smoke from the mega fires. We're starting with the sensor from Honeywell. It has a, a fan and a duct pulls air through this unit into a, there's a small chamber in here, shoots lasers at them and counts the particles. This does all the hard work. Molex connector for that. When you buy this, you should buy this uh, Molex connector. This is a development board. It could be an Arduino. I have a little bit fancier one from STM that has barometric and temperature and a bunch of other sensors on it, but just an inexpensive Arduino will do just fine. The output will be to this display, an LCD display to serial out. All the communication is serial and it's all 9600 baud, so that makes life really easy. Here's how it works. The microprocessor sends out a start code to the particle sensor. The sensor then sends back data to the microprocessor for 2.5 and 10 micron particles, a count number. The microprocessor then sends that to the uh, LCD, which displays the data. So I want to make this portable. So using this uh, battery that uh, can charge up a phone, um, I'm uh, set to go outside. I can use this thing on the bike or I can use it indoors. I'm going to drill some holes in the talking case. The... I'm going to mount the battery. Got uh, Velcro. And a piece of acrylic with the development board on there. Molex on the particle sensor. I get to have two displays because I'm going to display a little bit more than air quality there. Uh, we're going to say uh, humidity, uh, temperature, and barometric pressure. And here's the cord from the battery. Just put it into the USB for uh, the development board. Keep on there. Two, 103, 105. Okay, uh, 107. This is not good. We really want it to be down below 10. Okay, uh, 99, 98. We're in side now. It's going down rapidly. It's not good for in a house. It should be like around 10. I think we're going to have to start wearing masks. 